Blessings everyone, it is Jess the Bless and I'm back with another video. I did not do an intro for y'all because I didn't feel like talking like an hour ago. So today I am picking out my hair so you're gonna see a time lapse of this. And then <laughs> I'm gonna jump into wash day. I pray you all have a wonderful day. I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit, which is surprising for me, but it is what it is. This is all the hair picked out i've never done this before so y'all let me know what y'all think okay see you in a bit i am so tremendously grateful right now i picked out my hair and i did this in about 30 30 minutes maybe probably less than that I added a little bit of water and combed it out and then I went in with my pick and fluffed it out a little bit this is my first time doing it and guys this video got six million views and counting on Instagram check it out What do you guys think of it? I think I could probably pick it out more. I just, you know, it's dry. So I've never combed out my hair dry because I just feel like that's like a recipe for disaster. Not too much hair came out, which is good. Let me grab the hair products. Today's wash day, I still have not tried the hydrothermal naturals conditioner that Uche had recommended for me. So I'm gonna try this. I am gonna probably use two shampoos today depending on how this makes my hair feel. And I'm going to be using Clara B's um, shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner because I haven't tried the deep conditioner yet and I want to make sure I try this for y'all. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see what's left. Let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna try this again in the shower. Bear with me. I really do not like doing videos in the shower because of people online and they're weird. So I am putting my head under the water right now. I know you can't tell because all my hair, but my head is under the water. I'm waiting for it to kind of seep down. You're gonna notice that the water kind of bounces off of my hair. You can see it dripping down. And we're going to use good, good products and it's gonna open up my curls and we're gonna get these juicy curls back in action. speak this is a shampoo this deep conditioner has a pretty thick consistency I would say that my hair needed to have it in for a little bit longer I usually leave it in for about 10 minutes I got the ends really really good and then I went through and made sure I got the rest of my head and tried to get as much hair covered as possible giving it a rough part, twisting it up and putting it to the side. So I did a shampoo, deep conditioner, and then a shampoo. This gives your hair a minute to just process everything that's going on. And then I'm going to jump into the detangling and braiding. And so I already braided the other side. I wanted to show y'all how I detangled the hair and then show you how the curls kind of just come to life after you use the proper products to make sure you get that moisture into the curl. I'm doing this with the conditioner in it and so I'm going to utilize 
the water, the running water, whenever it's maybe a little bit too knotty or I need a little bit of extra help. And I'm utilizing the conditioner that's still in my hair to work from the bottom all the way up to get the knots out. halfway through I would say this takes about 15 minutes per side depending on how knotty the hair is and so if you continue to push off wash day your hair is going to be harder to detangle I seem to love to push off wash day uh, because I have a lot of hair so sometimes I, I let it go an extra day or two look at these curls you see questions about hair breaking off while detangling it and so it's so important that you remain calm and patient while you do this do not get frustrated and just start ripping out your hair and just kind of putting all that elbow grease into it just take your time I'm continuously running through until I don't feel any more knots and so if I still feel knots I'm going to continue to go through dip my head back in the water if needed continue to comb through and then I'm going to start to braid it up I'm actually going to braid it up in the shower this time because a lot of times I do it out of the shower but it just takes longer because I have to get out of the shower then I gotta use the spray bottle and then I gotta get it's just it's, it's much quicker doing the shower but this is a waste of water now look at that shine coming in and those curls popping out so good as you can see i have a few different curl patterns in my hair and this is while one running water is going through it and so as i step out that's gonna just curl all the way up and look completely different while dry this is my attempt of showing y'all how i do the braids as you can see i didn't even check to see if my part was straight. Most of the time I don't. It's more important that I get all of the hair braided than it is that I have a straight part because uh, you know I didn't have anything specific that I wanted to go and do at that time. Um, so you can see my gray hair too which is hilarious and so I just take my time braiding this up. It does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be straight it just has to be you have to make peace and let things just be what they are So when you get about halfway or more towards the bottom, you're going to have to do some more detangling. The detangling never seems to end on wash day. That's because that's when most, that's when all the detangling happens. I don't detangle my hair on any other day other than wash day. So it's really important that I do my best to make sure these knots get out. I can do this without looking. I just wanted to make sure I was in the camera, but you can see again my part you can see my scalp for all the people who are saying it's not real it's fake it's not fake open your minds this is a possibility you can grow long hair if you would like to and i'm very excited to continue to make more content for y'all i'm going to finish braiding this up and then i'm going to add some leave-in conditioner just put it in my hands and uh you know rub it into the braids and then i'm going to trim my ends I'm not going to show y'all that part because I want this video to be a little bit shorter, but let me know down below if there's anything else that you guys want to see. 
and I'm gonna let this braid finish up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, keep your concerns to yourself. Uh, but if you can like and subscribe, that would be great. I love you very much.